Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm at Woodhouse Grange today on the open match on Erin. I've drawn peg 10, which is on the spit. I've been told it's a good peg. It weren't very windy when we got here, but it's going to start again. It's blowing from left to right. I've got two nice margins, uh, about 18 inch one side, which I'll be feeding uh, my crows and corn. And I've got about a foot on the left, where I'll be feeding ground bait and dead reds. I've also going to go top two and one with some maggots or to catch the uh, catch the F1s. I've got six pints of maggots, so I'm going to be bladdering them in. I've also gone 16, not 16, 13 metres uh, on a date rig. It's about seven, seven and a half, eight foot deep there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping pellets. So hopefully it'll make some noise, but it keeps them on the deck. If I start getting iffy bites and it's going dodgy, then I've got a shallow rig for the top. I've also got a shallow rig for the uh, the eyed top two top two and one fishing 10 mile four so wish me luck and i'll keep you informed throughout the day Going very well. Ah, blanket, don't I?
two off ones in quick succession because I've changed the formula pellet. I get little dibs before I, I get two or three dibs. That's when I don't feed a lot. So they come to noise, not the pellet. Yeah. it again. Shallowed off two inch and took about six inch of line off. The trouble with that is that once you do that, you can't go deeper again. That's common sense. But the fish aren't telling me they want to be deeper, they want to be shallower. They have to do what's right for the conditions. this line all day. I bet I fed four pints of maggots on it now. Tried it earlier on, had a car. Every time I've gone in, I've always been bitten out and this time I have I think. F ones are here. Either that or silvers have had the feed and just gone. No there. Strange guy into the barn. Not at all. Might have got me out for something now.
maggot line is a waste of time. Try it one more time to roll it out. I can't feed them all. Nope, nope, nope. We've had a fish pellet short here. Really. Going back. Must be about ten or twelve pound this but else.
fish. What a guy didn't land in that. Feels on the good fish. We have had a pat the thing. Okay, so I just want to talk you through my rigs, what I've used today. So, to start with, I went on the deck, um, but never had anything on that. But that was a... Okay, 
RW Float, RW Maggie 14, 10 before, 4 by 14, sorry. Shops at about 7 foot line, 017 main line, 017 up length. Um, Guru uh, LWG, SLWG uh, with a band. Um, Pellet, got a few, got a few bars, but never really, never really material. So I went shallow, um, and I had a good run on that. But when I went shallow, I got me uh, Andy from Just Perfect Seats again with these floats. No point, to point three, and I've got four number tens on there. Um, an SLWG. Oh, the band on. I've been fishing about two foot deep. And at the end, I'd end up having a number 10, just about up length, and then three under two, three number 10s under float. And that was that one, and then uh, I kept moving it up and down two inch, and then it ended, I decided, I kept trying my maggot line, I just got bittered out. Bought six parts of maggots, but I've got, but I've got three, three, two or three part left. Just weren't going anywhere. Did, did hook a carp on it. Uh, but then what I decided was is if they're coming in there short, I want to fish to peg nine in on the deck. And what I did is I just got an RW float and it was an RW12 fishing in about four and a half foot banded. I started off on four and I upped it to a six and I've had one or two fish on that there. So I enjoyed that. All of 17 again and uh, and that's as I say, SLWG hook. And then I went down the edge. Um, I didn't think it was going to happen, but I uh, went down the edge and managed to catch. Now, these are our Rizzo floats. Go on eBay. Um, RF90, I think they're £8 for six floats. 0.5, and the actual line goes through, goes through the body. And you, apart from being snapped, I've never, never broke a float. Um, Ionic sound. Uh, they were that fish that to 022 straight through. And then I've got a size, what would it be? It'd be a size 12 XS. Every hook I fish is always guru. I just think they dug very good hooks. Just like B911s and that, but they rusted. So the uh, the guru ones have got that Teflon coating on. So that what makes a difference for me. Uh, maggot line, or the F1 line that I was going to try. That never materialised. That was a um, Martin N Twistle 4B12 float. But with my, my, my silverfish and my F1s, I always go 015, and the carp I go 017, and then down the edge I go 22. So that's it. Uh, in the end, I went down edge and I ended up feeding a full full pot of uh, wetted micros, corn oak, boom, and that were it. So I'm just waiting to get weighed in there and uh, I'll catch up and see where I've done it match. One or two, I don't think I've won it, but I've had a good day's fishing no matter what. Seven to be. It's nearly 180, isn't it? What's he had? What's he had on down there on? 107. What's he had? 107. You're joking. <laughs>
Right then, everybody, I've finished the match. I've ended up weighing £68.12. It's not come anywhere in match, but I've enjoyed myself. I've had plenty of fish, but they've been small. See you later, pal. All the best. So, uh, the winner, there's been 207s. So, there was a Neil Turner and a Jess King, I think it is. So, uh, it's fished hard, to be fair. 107 wouldn't normally get you in frame, to be honest. But that's how it is. Brenny, my old mate, Brenny Simpson, he's come fourth. So, he's done well. He's had £81. So, well done to him. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Thank you.